Sing me the song of your people. As you can tell, um, I have a funny looking bike here today. It has this weird kind of uh, extra little bit of the fork there. And someone put this stupid thing on the front. I think it's called a number plate. I don't know why would they would do something like that, but here we are and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be riding it downhill. So let's go. Now, in all seriousness, I have, now that GT has a new downhill bike, I'm finally putting mine to good use. I am doing a downhill bike on a downhill bike. Downhill race on a downhill bike, that is. It's been quite some time. Where am I? Ah, that looks like a start. It, it's all fun. It's all fun? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. There's a section with like a little drop. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of washed. Like, How far down is that? It's like yeah. a little more than halfway. Like there's a drop on the course, but there's this fire road that goes across that you come onto. Okay. It's like a little after. Let's play a game. How many times am I going to come off my bike? I almost had one. Whoops. Ooh. I kind of remember how to do this. Usually when there's people standing on the side, of course, something fun comes up. Woo. You good? Right down here. Whew. Apparently there's a yeah. Uh. All right, that's more of a step down. Whew. That is not the line. I don't know, maybe it is. Oh my god. Definitely not the line. You want to go as outside as you can? Are you Phil? I am. Oh, that's good, man. How's it going, man? Set up, Set up outside. We had two bridges. Heads up, you got rider. There's one bomb hole that caught me outside at the top. I feel like a fish out of water. Yeah. Is it a drop on the other side? No, it's just kind of a. Oh, the gravitational pull of the, inside, yeah, out, outside to inside, I think is kind of the move. Okay. What do we have here? Not 
Cut the line. I'm just going to have to like get as many laps as possible so I can get some kind of like memory recall on this like yeah. well it's like traverse turn peep shoot traverse turn peep shoot. it's been a while since I've ridden something top to bottom that I don't know at all yeah. Yeah. how long has it been since you've ridden that downhill bike like race I've never raced it I, so the last time I did a downhill race on a downhill bike was 2016. Oh wow. And I've only done like two, two or three since. I am very much uh, feel like I'm learning how to ride a race course again. <laughs> you think you're gonna race the downhill bikes again or are you gonna go back to your enduro bike? If I did more racing, I, I mean, since I have this built up, I might as well use it. Mainly because it saves wear and tear from the bike that I ride all the time. Yeah. So for Phil, are you here for the flea market? Guys, that the was flea like market, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the flea market. Yeah, what's up, man? Wait, yeah, I got you. Wait, yeah, I got you. Yeah. No way, man. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, bro, hey. Hey, I'm walking here. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? I'm fine. Is, is, is your bike okay? It <laughs> should, right. be, it okay. should be. Okay. Really Guys, you can hang them up while it's Can we jump on this one too? Oh, oh, yeah. You guys want to jump on? Go right here. Can you worry? Can you worry? Distraction. You like the course game? You know, it's funny. I, it always like takes me a while to uh, answer that question because I can like come into a weekend hating a course and by like my last run, I love it. So I've done one run and I, I'm on a struggle bus right now. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. See you guys. Is that, a, is that a mullet? It is. Wasn't it full 27? It was until uh, about a week ago. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I don't know if I like going into a course blind or a course with only one lap under my belt. Yeah. Nope, not the line. Okay, definitely. I keep, I keep diving inside here. If you can get that out, off camera up there, it sets you up so good for the turn. Up there? Right here. Better. Still felt kind of awkward. Whew. A little bit too much on my brakes right there. There's like no other option. You have to go in that bomb hole. I crashed at this stupid old bomb hole. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot. <laughs> It's too off camera. 
I, I was looking at it. You just gotta check up and commit to that hole, which there's a good chance it's not gonna be there tomorrow. Oh my god, it's Phil Matt. I don't think I've seen you on a downhill bike too much. Oh, uh, well, there's a good reason. I haven't really ridden a downhill bike much. Ah, uh, wrong line. video yeah that's me max abrams yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah. dude how's it going hey, your transformation from like a park rat to a downhill racer has been very admirable i have to say thank you i like just happened racing a lot this year or just Pro we'll see i'm not gonna say i'm gonna race a lot but i was like i told myself like last year i did like the ews's and i was like oh that was a lot of fun i should race again i'm trying to get started a little bit earlier this year yeah. remembering that i kind of enjoy racing <laughs> Good luck, yeah, you too, man. Good, one. Good luck. Woo. Yeah. What's up? How's it going? Are you on the freshie? I am. How is it? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I feel a little bad breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, uh, judging results-wise, you've been struggling a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. This year has been. I don't know. I've lost a little drive. When once you lose that drive, like it's. It's hard to push yourself. Like there, like there was like a few years where I had it, and I you'd take the risk that you needed to go fast, and then other years it's like I, I want to go fast, but I also don't want to not be able to walk the next day. <laughs> How are you doing? Good man. How's the skills doing? Oh, the skills are lacking right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you got a little like uh, slide in the home plate. Guys. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, slip and slide. Oh, good. How are you doing to start here? I was not paying attention. Uh. When you get to the bottom, you hand your chip in to Chris at the ESC chip, chip and you're going to go anytime after like three seconds. Oh, chip. What chip? Oh, go see Nick over there. Go get chipped up. Apparently, I need a chip. Yes. <laughs> and just don't forget to turn it into the tent where you got your number. Appreciate it. Thank you. Do you mind if I cut ahead? No, you can go. Ahead. Sorry about that. Well, go you can go. Right Maisie's in front of you, so you should be fine. Am I good to go whenever? Yep, whenever you're ready. Cool. Thank you. I didn't realize I needed a chip. Let's go! Okay, I've yet to get a full run on this track. Up to me. Uh, I was like, uh, I saw you at one point when I got out of the woods. Are you doing the enduro too? Nah. I, I mean, when I saw they were both on the same day, I was like, that seems really hard, legit. It is really hard. Are you doing both? No. I've done it before and I don't really want to do it again. Like, it'd be fun to do both if it was like the old schedule. Yeah. I thought for sure if you came here to do the enduro. If I don't have to pedal, I'll, I'll try not to pedal. Indoor tracks are so fun. All right, so we got done with our seating runs not too long ago, and we're sitting in our cart, uh, waiting out the rain a little bit. Um, so with three runs, I'm uh, I don't know how satisfied I am with my seating time. It's it's something that I've been pretty scared of, to be honest, since I've stopped racing. I haven't wanted to do a race because I don't want to find out how how much of my edge I've lost. And 
you know, just like with anything, when if you stop pushing yourself to like your limit, it your limit starts to like creep back a little bit. And so I'm definitely not as quick as I used to be. It's just I don't want to find out how uh, how less quick I am. It's a natural thing that happens to a lot of racers once you stop racing, but it's just like it's hard to reckon with, and it's something that I've just kind of just avoided by not racing for so long. So All right, we're gearing up to uh, go do our practice. We have practice from nine to 11. I wish I could say I got some great sleep last night, but um, people decided uh, that 2 a.m. was a great time to be chatting it up uh, right outside the tent. Thank you. Am I doing the blinkies? You're doing the blinkies. I'm uh, gonna really take my time. Oh my god, I can't see. Woo! Slimier today. It's worse than it was yesterday for sure. Side does not go that well. Oh my god. You get squirrely. Come up with that, you're dead. Shane, what are you doing here? Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my chain guide kind of came loose. It's interesting out there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Man, that greasy. Pretty <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, that's really crazy. <laughs> Holy. That drop is unreasonably sketchy right now. Oh, How's it going, man? A lot, like, a lot of times I like to add, like, these kind of, like, conversations and videos because it helps paint a picture of what the day's like. <laughs> I have a bit of a mechanical that I need the tool for, and I don't have mine on me. My, uh, chin guide bolt came half out. Like, I went to go pedal, and I'm like, I can't pedal. <laughs> I am. Today I'm uh, filled without skills. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I heard you qualified for pro. Uh, I, I mean, I used to, used to race pro. Yeah, so you still a pro car? Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I used to be pretty good. Now I'm... Uh... Huh. Play a game. Let's play. Pretend you know how to ride a bike. Alright. Practice was, uh, it was an experience. I don't know how I feel on the course. I think it's uh, just gonna be surviving today. I don't really think uh, I have very high expectations because, uh, yeah, as you can see, my last practice run, I did a little slip and slide times two. I have racing coming up and the course might be drying out. It's hard to tell. Like, there's like a four hour, five hour, there's a big hour gap between last practice run and my race. So, that's there's gonna be a lot of people on course, lines are gonna change, and, uh, I haven't seen it since, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, we're headed up uh, for a race run, and uh, man, going up the lift never gets any less nerve wracking. Like, for some reason, it's like, even if you're not taking it seriously, like, I always get the jitters, the butterflies, whatever you want to call it, and uh, yeah, it's definitely happening today. But hopefully I can put down a solid run. It's, 
I definitely feel like I'm not at the speed I used to be at, which is frustrating to me, but it's also kind of, you know, when you don't race, you're not pushing yourself and you don't get to that edge. So um, it's kind of understandable that just happens when you don't, you're out of practice. You, I'll probably talk to you guys mid race run, or maybe not. Like, it's always awkward trying to talk to myself well, while I'm a racing. Track like this is like requires so much focus. <laughs> I feel like the second you talk is like an immediate distraction. Yeah. Unless you're going, wow. <laughs> I see at the bottom. Boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, Haley. Yeah, 2016 was the last year that I like raced full time. But you were at Powder like two years ago. Two but years I, was, I saw it on an Enduro bike. Like everyone has gone ridiculously fast. Mm -hmm. Like, which is good. Yeah. Like racing the downhill southeast and Asa shows up and he's kicking your ass. Jeez. I mean, he's like kicking Gwyn's butt. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have any issues running those rotors with those pads? No, so the big thing though is I never ran the rotors with any other pads. Gotcha. Like they, I, they were brand new and I put the sands on it before I ever ran them. Yeah. So, and they've worked good. They're a little bit thicker than the... Like, yeah, that's what I was wondering if you had enough clearance. Yeah, yeah, they've been working fine. Like, I like my contact points to be kind of far out. Yep. So, like, I can definitely tell that they're a little bit more like, early. Yeah. But, like, I like it and it's fine. Sweet. Good luck, man. Thanks, you too. <clears throat> All right. He said this was a greasy, and she was right. Oh boy, definitely greasy. Good grip here.
It was good. It was really good. You fed Intel. All right, all right. So I made it down. My my run was pretty good. Like I was pretty happy with it. But like there's definitely some spots I was conservative, so I left some time on the table. But I used to have the habit of blowing up every race run. And so, you know, maybe <laughs> that is a very, very good point. So maybe I've gotten a little bit better at dialing it back. Um, but yeah, I competitive side of me a little Wanted to do a, little, do a little bit better, but yeah, you're struggling. But anyways, I think that's where we're gonna leave off the video. Uh, I, f I forgot to mention, Haley, as you can saw from the little clip I inserted, she got dead last. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but they don't need to know that because you were on the podium. But I still got money. Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, it was, it was a good race, honestly. <laughs> like, it was a race between fifth and, and fourth and fifth, honestly, so. I've, I have a feeling if I hadn't blown out the corner up there, yeah, I, I would have been able to maintain more speed. So, <sighs> anyway, I think we're gonna wash our bikes and make the trip home. So overall, good weekend. Kind of missed racing. We'll see if I get back into more of it. Um, yeah. I forgot to mention I did put a 29er uh, wheel on the front, um, but you guys probably aren't watching this part of the video. So if you are, there, yeah, a little, little fun fact. All right, see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>